then you may use a MATLAB. Now, we move on to how to apply, how to use the Two degree of freedom system case. The application area of two degree of freedom system case. So one application is vibration observer. Right? I briefly explained what we learned in the, in, the, in the first half of the last lecture. Then I will move on to the specific topic of vibration observer. That is one application of area of two degree of freedom system. The idea comes from realizing that when I have primary vibration vibratory system, then if I want to reduce, minimize the vibration, And how to do it? How to do it? Then, what I can think is, if I transport or if I dissipate the energy that I had to experience to somebody else, right? I'm vibrating now, but if I touch you, then you are vibrating. I am. Okay, right? That will be nice because I am giving you the vibration energy. Therefore, I will not vibrate. So that's the idea. So, we introduced the secondary vibratory system. Okay? And if you think physically then, the frequency of this secondary vibratory system has to be because this secondary vibratory system has natural frequency that should be square root of Ka divided by Ma. So if this master structure is vibratory, vib is by is by is vibrating, okay, is vibrating with the frequency of a secondary system's natural frequency, then what happened? Because it has a resonance, meaning that it has theoretically infinite energy, therefore, the, all the vibration energy will transport to the secondary system and it, it will remain still not moving. Okay? So we saw that using mathematical expression, neither letting any damping, because we have to start with the simplest case. Okay? This is analogous with Single degree of freedom case mx double dot kx is equal to f. Okay. Instead of uh, of having scalar m k, we have matrix m k and the vector. So, mathematical form is the same, but this is matrix. Okay? And then we solve this. How? Similarly, similar technique we had for the single degree of freedom system. Okay? The only difference is that we have to solve this, meaning that the solution of this is something divided by the determinant of this to get the non-trivial solution. Determinant of this is simply 
multiplying this element and this element and minus this element and this element. Therefore, what we have this solution. The displacement of mass structure is influenced by many things. The master structure stiffness, observer stiffness, master structure mass, omega square, that is the excitation frequency, Ka, Ma, Ka square, blah, 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 blah. And observer structure displacement is expressed like this. Then we found that Oh, there is a possibility to make this one zero because you have numerator has this, and that means omega square ma has to be ka, meaning that omega square is equal to ka divided by ma. So that is the natural frequency of observer. So that coincides with what we physically anticipated before we do the mathematical analysis. Okay? But frankly speaking, before we do the mathematical analysis, we do not know <laughs> that kind of thing. So, meaning, uh, uh, suggesting that we have to travel physical domain and this mathematical to domain a lot, right? Paying the toll, toll fee to the bridge between physical domain and mathematical domain. And I want to be over there to collect the money from you guys. You want to go to physical domain to mathematical domain? You give me 10,000 won. You want to give, if you want to travel from mathematical domain to physical domain, you may give me 10,000 won, right? That is the uh, very fancy way to be a rich man. Oh, please do not hesitate to travel to cross the uh, bridge between physical domain and mathematical domain. More, if you pay more toll fee to pass those bridges, you will have more understanding of uh, vibration problem. Right? And in fact, I will not charge you. Right? Because I would not know how many how often you you go you you cross over the bridge because the bridge the number of times you cross over the bridge all depends on your willingness you look at the, the material or text you move from physical domain to mathematical domain mathematical domain to physical domain oh, 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 oh. then you will have a rich understanding of vibration Right? Yep. yep. If you agree, shake hand with me. Right? Yep. So physical domain and mathematical domain, you come in and out, then what's going to happen? We will have more friendship, right? It's the same. It's the same. You have to travel very often between physical domain and mathematical domain. When you read a text, you feel very Boring, right? Because, because you didn't, you, 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 you normally do not attempt to travel around. And then another territory is application domain, design domain. Okay, once you build up your, your philosophy by traveling a lot between physical domain and mathematical domain, then you try to design or use your concept to do something good. Maybe do something good to make a big money.